everyone and welcome back to part two of of a Nissan car logo cracking tutorial so uh, last week uh, we just got the basic frame done uh, this time uh, as I said uh, we're gonna be filling in in uh, this rectangular part right here uh, so I believe the first First end starts at around this middle point right here at negative four. So I'm going to start with that. And uh, I want to make this go from Let's estimate negative three fourths to positive three fourths. And, and then uh, <clears throat> the next part of this has uh, a horizontal line on both the top and the bottom. It's going to be uh, y equals 0 0.75 and mega 0.75. This might be a bit more work than I anticipated. Point seven five. How does that look? Maybe a little bit longer. Let's start at the top first. I don't think. No, we don't have anything at the bottom. Just remember that. We're doing negative four and negative zero point five. Nope, 3.5. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then we have a diagonal line starting at this point. So with the slope of line, if we, if we want to guarantee it to go through this set of points right here, we're going to say x x minus the x coordinate right here. So since it's minus negative 3.5, going to add 3.5 to it. And then we're going to go up 0 0.75. The line should be facing the other direction. And number in front to manipulate uh, the slope of the line. So I want to make mine negative 2.5. I'm uh, I'm not too sure myself on how this might look. So this is gonna this is gonna have the same bounds as the uh, x coordinate as the x line bounds. So it's gonna go from negative 2.75 to point seven five to zero point seven five. Now we have then we have another horizontal line of similar length to this line right here. So you can just copy the boundaries on that line. And on the bottom, you can just write y is equal to negative, y is equal to uh, negative 3.5. No, negative 0 0.75. I copied the bound that I shouldn't have. Uh, it, should, it should it should have the same length but not the same boundaries. This is negative 2.9. And then if we, if we go if we go to the right by half, it's going to be negative 2.4. And uh, then we're going to have a down line, a uh, vertical line. No. Equals f 2.4. And this, this and this will have the same bounds as this line right here. So I'm gonna copy that and paste in here. And that is one ugly looking n. It's gonna look better if it's if the lines were thicker. So 
So, so I think what's ruining this is, is, is the fact that, that we have these horizontal lines here. So I want to shift everything to, to, uh, to the left once we lose these horizontal lines and it's already, it's already looking better without them. So I want to, I want to shift these over. Uh, in this case, we want to have this at negative four. And the slope of the line now should be greater. I on a smaller scale. And this point is at negative three, so I'm going to shift this to negative three. Trying to think if I want to make this. How steep I want this line to be. And I think I like negative 1.25. It's going to be negative 2.8. And there's the end. A 4. Um, and for the I, I'm going to place this right at negative 2, I think, because I see that best fit for it. And this is going to have the same boundaries as this other vertical line, and that's going to be the, uh, and that's going to be the I that I want to use. If you, if you want the bars on top, uh, I've, I'm thinking about saving another video because there's, my recording started at the halfway point and we've only gotten two letters in and I spent too much time on the on the first letter. Right, so the S I'm gonna center it I'm gonna center it at at negative one. So I wanna so I wanna I wanna try y is equal to negative square root of one minus x plus one squared. At first, I want to de. I want to. I want to cut the size of the circle in half, and then. And then I'm also going to cut the height of the circle in half. I want to bring this down to. Align this to the radius of a half, so this should be. That is odd. It is zero. What is this at right now? It's two five. So if I add a half to it, it should be lined up right there, and it is. Um. All right. So the so next. So the next um, half that we're going to be putting on is going to be a slightly taller than this because I want us to touch the the horizontal axis. So but first it needs to be made positive, and at the height of this is be slightly bigger. Make it like that. That looks fine. And I want to make this, and I, I want to just make this bounds greater than or equal to negative one, because maybe wants to center it, and we want everything to the right side of it. I want to make another copy of this, and this is going to be on the on the other side of it, and also this is being made negative. I'm going to bring this up nice. um, 
that was an unexpected cutoff. I believe I reached a time recording limit, but I'm just going to pick right off. So, uh, so we're going to move this up by 0 0.5, and the bounds is going to. And we want everything to the left of negative one this time. And this next equation is going to be similar to the to the bottom half equation. This is starting to look like the S that we want. So we're going to, so first we're going to flip this and then we're going to bring it up to this one that this looks like looks like a, looks like half. This is the S. I know the S in the in the uh, the actual logo is is uh, it looks more squished than this, and it looks slightly more boxier. But the but the supply equation that I have is very limited, and so is the so is the time that I want to get this thing done. All right. So for for the next S, we are just going to copy every every single one of these equations that we have. But uh, instead of instead of centering it at at uh, at negative one, we're going to center it at positive one. So 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 first, every single one of these. These duplicates instead of a plus one, we're going to put minus one. And find all the duplicates first. I think that's everything. I want to start from this one right here. This one, so this first equation looks fine. This second equation also looks fine. This third equation, we don't want we don't want everything to for uh, this one. We want everything to the right of of one, and for this one, we want everything to the left of positive one. And there's our duplicate S. For the letter A, I want to use an absolute value equation. So if this one, I, I want to say y is equal to the negative absolute value of x plus x minus 3. I want to squeeze this by a little bit. I'll move this back by by this much. I want to move it up. To seven five. Let's make slightly more adjustments. It's supposed to be zero zero point seven five. All right. Uh, so this is one of the or um. Let's stop for now. I will catch you guys in a little bit. All right. So as I'm looking at this, I'm, I'm noticing that I am run, running out of room on the side because as the, uh, the the rightmost part of the letter end actually ends over here. So I'm going to temporarily I uh, take that out for now. So instead, I, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to move every every part of this end over. So we're going to start from this part. It's going to be positive four. This part, now this line is going to be, we don't have positive 4 anymore, that's going to be positive 2.
doing? What is this in state of four? Negative two point eight. So that's that's going to be positive two point eight. So this line is going to, so we're going to add 2.8. All right, so, so now we bring back, the, now we bring back the, uh, Letter A, we can see that's not totally lined up, so we want this to be centered at 2. I'm going to shrink this. At the same time, we don't want this to be like too squished. This looks good enough. So it's going to go from, so uh, the horizontal line, I think the uh, placing it down on the horizontal axis is going to be perfect. So it's going to be 1.875 and 2.375. So we have 1.75, 2.375, and uh, we might have lost the equation for x equals negative 2. I'm going to put that back in. in. It looks okay. Uh, considering what we had to work with, which is not very much, that's. I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I like how it looks. Um, so this is the entire Nissan logo done. Well, apart from the color, uh, I want to I want to do a logo that I can that can color easily. In in the next video, I'm thinking about about uh, doing doing a logo for or uh, for Chevy because the Chevy is nice and simple, and it, it can and uh, it can customize the color however you like. Uh, well, not however you like, but uh, you can. Keep, you can uh, add the border colors if you want to. Uh, I'll talk more about that next week.